I grew up in the world of metal and punk, in which I still do love. I do feel the need to finally see what the rest of the world has to offer. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. We are returning to SB19. We are finally going to be doing Stell Performing Defying Gravity. This has actually been something that has been asked of me for quite some time. And now is the time to do so. So let's check it out, shall we? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm expecting magic, Stell. <laughs> That's the same. His high end is so ridiculous. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so, you know, the thing that I find so crazy about this performance is that it kind of tells you a little bit about uh, Stell. Now, bear in mind, I don't have a ton of information about these guys, you know, about SB19 still, but the thing that I find kind of interesting and I don't know if he has done this before, but I feel like he almost has an actual, like, Broadway-style voice. Like, he has stage voice, you know. You could say that there's 
kind of a different versions of singing. There's like pop, there's traditional, there's opera, there's, you know, stage and like Broadway. And now that I kind of listen to this, I kind of wonder if he has just like stage, he has kind of a stage or, you know, Broadway kind of voice. I feel like that the, that's what I'm seeing here is that this is kind of where he's comfortable. He has a lot of, uh, he has a lot of accents and like, uh, things that people use that are, uh, like dramaticisms from stage. And he kind of was applying those, like when he would do the fly, you know, that's a, that's a Broadway, that's kind of a stage move. Right. And, uh, the fact that, you know, obviously singing <laughs> something from Wicked is, uh, pretty big. Uh, you think that, uh, that that's probably one of the most popular modern plays. Um, so for him to perform this and make it seem so natural, I, I definitely feel like that he's definitely got that um, that feeling of having a good stage voice. He could probably do some really, really good plays. <laughs> could probably really, really nail that down. But, you know, in all, in, in all honesty, I'm... I've talked in lengths about how good he is, but this true, this to me is kind of talks about, you know, shows his identity a lot. You know, you can really, really see that he, he could go through and be like a really, really good stage play, like actor and stuff like that, which is in a sense, really, really hard to do. But yeah, I feel like that it gives him a little bit more of his identity and, uh, not that he was struggling with an identity, but it shines the light on my own brain, you know, <laughs> but yeah, in any case, super sick. Um, it makes sense. It, uh, everything kind of clicked when you start hearing someone like him seeing something that's from, you know, like a stage play. It just, uh, it clicked, it clicked. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what y'all think. If you have any other sounds that you would like to recommend, put them down in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye.